five, ten years later, after the smart device uh, revolution goes into a mature stage, mm -hmm. how do you picture our lives in the future? Uh, I like to look at this um, in three different ways. So I, I look at the IoT industry being at its very early stage, which we call IoT 1.0. So for us, IoT 1.0 was when any device manufacturer or any um, new inventor wanted to create a smart device, what they did was they put a little chipset in. So we're going to go back to this analogy of the toothbrush just because it's really simple. So a lot of people took a toothbrush and they put a little sensor in and they were able to just track if the product was used or not used. They were able to do the same thing for home automation and turn on something, turn off something. Then we move to IoT 1.5, which is where I believe we're all today. And a lot of the best products in the world are, are sitting in that IoT 1.5 range. They haven't hit that next generation. 1.5 is where the devices are starting to get a lot smarter. They're starting to interact with the cloud. They're starting to interact with other services we have around us. So now that toothbrush may integrate to a reward system, sharing that data with your doctor. So we're starting to get a lot smarter but we still haven't hit that core value proposition. The IoT 2.0 vision we have of all devices actually speaking to each other. So having one device have the ability to connect to another device seamlessly for them to be able to speak the same language. So you'd be able to know that you're, you know, how many times you brushed your teeth to what your weight was to how that compared to other facets in our life that we haven't even imagined are possible uh, challenges that we face on a daily basis or things that we may be doing that we could do more efficiently.